Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our camellia flowers. Now I have all of my pieces cut out and ready to go, as should you. Now before we get started, if you could, make sure you hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So anyway, we've got everything laid out here. Uh, I'm gonna go through everything. We're gonna actually start off with the base, or the actual vase. And it is made up of these two pieces here. Now one thing to keep in mind here, is you'll notice on this last tab here, there's a little B as in boy cut into it. And that just indicates that this is the bottom and that is the top. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is something very simple just to kinda get our feet wet, get the, uh, get the glue flowing. We're gonna put some panels on the main structure here. Okay, and you can tell just by looking at it that the top and bottom are slightly different as far as their shapes go. So we just need to make sure that we put the correct ones in the correct spot. There's gonna be an even border going all the way around each of these little panels. So let's get that glue flowing and let's start gluing. We'll get the little vase done first and then work on our flowers. Okay, again, like I said, just make sure that when you place it down there, you're getting it nice and centered so there's an even border all the way around. Uh, I did go and, well, this is actually, it looks like an Easter print. It's got some small little flowers on it. And I did hit this with a little bit of a, just like a, a violet or a purple ink, very subtle. And it just kind of helps it blend into the structure a little bit better. So it's not such a harsh contrast along the edge here. It looks very subtle on camera, but uh, if I had a before and after, you could really tell the difference. Okay, so just gonna go through here, and this is one of those things where you could probably do this at your own pace if you want. The next step here, what we're gonna do is actually take and join these two sections together. So if you're kind of fast forwarding through You'll want to stop and continue watching when I start to do that. When you notice that I pick these guys up and begin connecting them together. So if this is your first time with us, welcome. The beautiful part about paper flowers, aside from the actual beautiful paper flowers, is that, well, you can use them in places where uh, maybe flowers aren't allowed, or in my case, uh, I mentioned this in my previous video, uh, well, I have two cats, and you know that, well, maybe you don't know, but there are a lot of plants that can be toxic or poisonous to cats. I'm sure a lot of you have animals at home. Could be dogs as well. I think maybe dogs are a little more um, a little more immune to that sort of thing. Maybe not though. I don't really, I haven't had a dog in a long time, so I don't research it. But uh, that and if you have a loved one that you want to cheer up, maybe they're sick or maybe they're celebrating something wonderful, like an anniversary or a retirement maybe a promotion and you want to kind of brighten up their space this is definitely a go-to it will certainly be appreciated and the cool thing is you don't have to water it <laughs> and you don't have to worry about it dying i have uh actually i was going to show and actually you can probably see a bunch of flowers behind me yeah you can there's a ton back there that were made two, three, four years ago that hold up very well. I think you might need to maybe dust them occasionally. But even with that, you know, how how often can you say that, well yeah, I've had this had these flowers for two or three years. It doesn't really doesn't really happen very often, I don't think. So just going down the line here, getting all of these panels glued down, very simple. Nice way to start off a project with some simple things. Again, making sure that we maintain a nice even border all the way around the panel. 
Okay, and I'm just grabbing one at a time and I'm not doing it in any particular order here. It doesn't really matter. And just line things up or adjust them so that it just feels very comfortable when you put them down. Make it natural for your hands to work with the paper. In other words, don't make it awkward when you're positioning and, and placing things down. Okay, very simple. And with this one here, because of its shape, we do need some um, some floral foam in there. We're actually going to put that in before we close it up. Okay. And I'll show you how that works here in just a moment because we are going to do that here momentarily. Just a few more. Yeah, and I don't think we, we've never done camellias. We try not to repeat flowers at all. Occasionally, I know we've done um, a set of different roses, but that I think was because we were doing something for Valentine's Day and it was appropriate, but for the most part, you'll never, uh, we'll never do the same flower more than once. And if we do, um, sometimes you'll see a flower that is like flat instead of like 3D on a stem. So that, that is the exception. But when we make 3D flowers on stems, try not to repeat it. I still wanna make a nice sunflower. We don't have one of those on a stem yet. That would be really cool to do. And thanks to our art director, Ron has been making paper and clay flowers for probably longer than I've been alive. And he's pretty much taught me everything I know. It's really nice to have a, a, a personal flower mentor to kind of teach you everything, I'd say. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're going to do Again, this is, look at the little tab here. You'll see the letter B. That is B for bottom. I'm gonna move these out of the way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these two sections together at the bottom tab here, like so. Then we're gonna create the bottom. Okay, and we also have a little base for this as well. So for this, let's start by putting glue on this last tab here with the letter B on it. And I'm gonna take and spread that glue just kind of dab it out to the very edge, nice and thin. That way it dries a lot quicker. And we'll take this and just line it up. Okay, what is going on here? There we go. Just line that up as accurately as you can, like so. I know it kind of looks a little strange right now, but just go with it. Now what we'll do is we're going to take this and fold it over onto itself and you see how it just sits perfectly on top of itself. And just give that a little press there, right where we have the glue. Okay. And now what we're going to do is just connect the rest of the tabs. Okay. So let's go ahead and start applying our glue onto each of these tabs. And I'm going to spread that glue out just like I did before. Just kind of dabbing it with my finger. And get that lined up and press that into place like so. Should go pretty quick. Shouldn't have to spend more than a few seconds on each one if you have the right consistency of glue. Okay, moving on to the next one here. And we'll just repeat the process. I do think it's pretty important to get that glue out to the edge so that you get nice, clean looking seams. Everything almost looks like, instead of just paper glued together, it almost looks like it was 3D printed. Everything looks very crisp and meticulously assembled. Okay, moving right along. I always say that when we do 3D flowers like this, this is truly, there's, there's, there's sections of the assembly that become very like meditative and zen-like. I think this is why 
I, as I mentioned in, in the Facebook group, I walk out of the studio kind of feeling, feeling a little more relaxed than usual. It's almost like playing the guitar because things are, you, you start to just kind of let your, let your fingers do all the work. You really zone out and just kind of focus on the task at hand. It's not, you know, I mean, it's, it's, I would call it like deep focus, but it's not, it's not like critical thinking. Um, so it's easy on the brain. And since you do have to focus, you're not focusing on other things, all the negativity that may be surrounding you for whatever reason. I guess you could just say that right now things are kind of negative in general in the world. So this is definitely, as some of you call it, it's like a craft therapy or paper therapy. I think that's actually a name of a business. That was pretty clever, I'd say. Okay, moving on to this tab here. Almost done. We're going to close it up here in just a moment. Let's get that nice and thinned out, spread out. Okay, and line that up with its neighbor. Give it a quick push, quick press, let that set. There we go. Now, I'm gonna just join these two sections together. And what I would actually recommend doing is, we're gonna do this tab first, but we are also going to glue this little tiny uh, triangle, that little tab there. We're gonna glue that into place as well just to keep the structure nice and sound. There we go. Beautiful. Grab the other end and just line it up just like we've been doing. It's going to be a little more awkward just because it's kind of flailing around. But just make sure you line that up as accurately as you can. It may want to slip a little bit, so make sure you keep holding it in place until that glue has a chance to set. Give that a few extra pushes and presses. Here we go. Just like that. Bring that back. And this little triangle, I think we're going to just try to put some glue on it from the inside, like so. You can see it there. I've got my thumb on it. That might have been a little, a little much, but that's fine. And we'll press that right behind this section here. Make sure that you line that up. There's no angle on this section. It's just straight up and down. Give that a press. And there we go. Okay. I'm going to leave this open, face open, because we are going to need to put our floral foam in there. Whoa. Oh, there's another one on this side. Forgot about that. Okay. Let's get this other triangle glued down. There we go. You can see the glue on there. Just press that up against this surface here. I'm looking at it from this side so that I can make sure that everything is properly aligned. And just hold and press for just a moment. And voila. Okay, don't jump the gun on that one. It's a small little piece. You don't want to ruin it by moving ahead too quick. And we'll just push these out of the way for a moment, open it up. There we go. Okay, so now uh, this is the little base that we need to construct. Pretty straightforward. Um, there's all these sections here. We're going to join them together using this little rect. Or I'm sorry, this little triangular tab here. Okay, so I think just a single single dot of glue will do. You can spread that out with your finger, thin it out, and it is going straight up. Grab that tab and press it up against the inside of its neighbor. I'll show you the inside here in a second. Okay, so a little hard to tell, but the tab is right there. And then we're just gonna keep on, keep on cruising around the circle here. I think this is an octagon actually, not a circle, but you get what I'm saying. And pop that right behind its neighbor. Make sure it's perfectly aligned and give that a press and a hold. And I'm just going to alternate back and forth so that I don't uh, just give that side a chance to fully set. 
before I go back to it and start tugging on things. Tuck that tab in, press it up behind its neighbor. I may need to reapply the glue on that. It might have, uh, might have dried out a little too much, we'll see. So far so good, great. Okay, so now we'll go over here. It's a small little tab, but it will do the work. Okay, pressing that tab up against the back side of this neighboring wall, I'll call it. Okay, and let's go over to this side here. few little dots, spread that out with your finger and tuck that right behind its neighbor, nice and straight. Okay, I've got this beautiful braid that's gonna go around, um, actually these straight parts. It's gonna make it look really nice. Green and purple really work very well together especially when you know the the green on the braid plays off of all of the green of the plants or the flower kind of ties everything all together so that will be that will be very nice we'll probably just do that last okay just continuing on here building this little structure okay i've got a couple more little tabs here to go let's get our glue on this guy here Give that a quick little press and pop that right behind its neighbor and press and hold. And I've got one little tab left here. And these tabs here that you see, we're actually gonna use these tabs to join this to this. And this is wide open, so it'll, it'll be very easy to get your fingers in there and get that accomplished. Okay, so I've got one tab left in here and plenty of room to get your little glue nozzle in there. Throw a couple dots of glue on there. You can even use the nozzle to kind of spread that glue around. Okay, you can see it there. And then I'm just gonna take it and press it up against the inside of the neighbor. And press and hold. Okay, continue holding that in place. And there we go. So as I mentioned, uh, we're not gonna do it quite yet. We're gonna join this and this together first, and then we'll worry about putting the, uh, the forest tape in there. I'm sorry, not the tape, but the foam. Okay, so there we go. Now, actually, before we do that though, I'm gonna flare these out, because that's where we need them anyway. And if you have a, a craft knife, you can use a craft knife to cut your uh, your foam. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna take and just layer these so that I don't waste any more materials. I've got the first one that I cut, I'm just putting it on top of the other one and just kind of using it as a template for the other one. This wire is really stretched out because I'm kind of being rough with it, but still gets the job done, so it's all good. And I'm kind of tapering it towards the center so that I get a better fit. There we go. And boy, that is, that is crooked. <laughs> That's okay though. I think it's more this piece. I can just trim it a little bit. Just to straighten it out a bit. I think that they have commercial versions of these that the wire just gets really, really like hot and um, kind of goes through. Let's see here. There we go. It goes through the goes through the foam so much quicker. I think that's fine. Okay, so I'll put that off to the side. I'll grab my hot glue gun and just kind of get these two sections glued together. Don't have to be perfect, but no one's gonna actually see this. It's more or less just, uh, just for us. 
so that we can actually poke our flowers in. All right, so we'll let that set while we take and construct the actual vase. So you can just poke this right through. It should pop right out. Oops, what did I just do? I think I felt, I think I just felt a rip. That should fit in there beautifully. I'm gonna make sure that it's all the way in. Not that far in. Okay, just be gentle with this. It helps if you have it lined up properly. There we go. Let's give it a little push, gentle push, like so. All right, so we're gonna pick one side grab one of these tabs and just throw a little bit of glue on it. I'm gonna work the glue up towards the top more. I don't want that glue spilling through. Okay, I'll take the tab and push it up against the inside and just making sure that it's lined up with the score mark on the outside. I'll just press and hold that in place for just a moment. And there we go, just like that. And we'll go over to the opposite side. Again, focus the glue towards the top. I'm going to fold it over onto the inside and again, just making sure that we can kind of see the little score marks there on the outside. That means that we've got it lined up properly. Very simple. These two are done. Let's go over here. Let's go 90 degrees either direction and throw our glue on there. I'm going to fold it over again, making sure that we can kind of see the score marks from the outside. I want everything to be nice and even so this thing, when it sits flat, it doesn't look wonky. And I'll move over here. If you're not able to go this quick, it means you're using too much glue. So ease up on the glue a little bit. I'm gonna fold that over, check in my work from the outside here, pushing down with these two fingers, pushing up with these two fingers, just kind of smushing it in there. Okay, so we've got four done, we've got four left. A little bit of glue there, push it over. The rest of these should sort of be falling into place. I don't think we really need to adjust anything. When we get those first four installed, the other ones just kind of follow suit and assume the position. Okay, pushing that up against the inside, checking my work on the outside, looks good. Couple more to go. Not too shabby. There we go. And we'll take a look at it in a second here, see how nice and flat it's sitting. Should be good. Okay, push that up against the inside. And there we go. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna put that braid along these edges here just to kind of fill it in. And again, like I said, tie it together with the rest of the project. Okay, so now you've got, you've got your little foam in there, fits perfectly, and I think that's tall enough. If you wanted to add another layer, you could, but I think that's gonna be, it's gonna be more than fine. And actually, I might be able to actually do it this way. Yeah, I'll flip it around. So it's kind of tapering up. Just throw a little bit of hot glue. Well, you know what, that's not very flat. This is more flat. So I'm gonna put the hot glue on this side. It was like melting it a little bit. Sounds like we're cooking bacon, which sounds pretty good right now, actually. Just pop that right into your planter. Oh yeah, nice and warm. Okay, so that will set while we finish assembling the rest of the planter here, which simply involves connecting these tabs to their little neighbors here. So let's start on that. Get your glue flowing. We'll do one tab at a time here. Again, I'm gonna spread that glue out to the very edges, kind of dab it a little bit, thin it out, bring it in, line it up, and press. Okay, there we go. Just like that. And on to the next one. So we're gonna do this a total of seven more times finish up the little vase or planter, whatever you want to call it. And then we can move on to the actual flowers themselves. And that's going to be fun. Not going to be difficult at all. I actually have some prototypes here 
in front of me to kind of help me make sure that I'm giving you the correct instruction. Okay. So again, less is more when it comes to the glue. Don't overdo it with the glue. Otherwise you're going to be sitting here for hours and days and waiting for it to set and getting frustrated because you got a gluey mess everywhere. The idea and the goal is to keep this as clean looking as possible. Uh, even though that glue dries clear, it does leave kind of a, um, just a glossy sheen. And that's not the end of the world if it happens, it's okay. You know, if you're just starting out and you're getting a little bit of glue here or there, don't, don't beat yourself up. I did it too when I first started out. It's just something that, something you get better at over time. You can actually feel with your finger if you have the right amount of glue. You just know it. It's something that is just acquired over time. So hopefully, hopefully you're there. A lot of you are. Especially those of you that can take one of our projects and have it done before the video is even out. I know for a fact you guys have all these skills. And again, if you're new, there's absolutely no reason why you too can't acquire them. Very simple. You know, like listening to myself talk, I'm starting to feel that this holds true for basically anything. Anything in life, artistic or, or otherwise, uh, which makes me, makes me want to get my Bob Ross uh, paints out and start painting. But unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, very fortunate, I'm going to be be sticking with paper for quite some time because, well, if I just stopped doing this and started painting, I think we'd have some upset people. And I don't want to, I don't want to upset you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So a couple more to go here. This last one, we're going to have to use the little painting technique to get it to sit. Uh, we do want to make sure that we tuck this tab in while we're gluing this tab. So otherwise we may risk ripping the project. We don't want to do that. Okay, got the glue out, getting it out to the very edge. There we go. And as I mentioned, tuck that tab in. Make sure it's in there before we glue this down. Okay, just keep holding. Just like that. And now we've got our scrap piece of paper. You just take a little bit of glue, throw it right on the corner there. And what we can do is literally, actually, you know what? You could probably get your nozzle in there, but I'm already at this point here where I'm just going to paint the glue on. And actually, just kind of dab it on. Bring it all the way down. There we go. And then just stick your fingers in there. Make sure it's all nice and lined up. And press. You gotta get your finger all the way down there. And there we go. Okay. So there she is. Almost looks like a little spaceship. It's kind of cool. Okay, we got our foam in there ready to go. So that leads to the actual flower itself. We're going to start off with some of the more simple things. Um, these are prototypes, so don't look at the colors, but we're going to make two of these, okay? And essentially they're identical with one exception, and that is the small flower at the top. They're just slightly different size. That way it just looked a little more natural. Uh, actually, you know what? I think the big flowers are slightly different in size too. So let me show you here. Uh, we'll go through the flowers real quick. Uh, you want to find you want to find the petals that are identical in size, and just kind of group them together. Okay. So just to um, just to lay these out, so we understand the process here. Again, we've got we've got the largest one here. There's a, a medium size. And then these are kind of almost the same size, but they're not. But we're still going to kind of group them together for now. 
uh, one of the flowers is going to be made up of one of these and one of these. So one large, one slightly smaller. That's one of the larger flowers. The other, other large flower is going to be made up of these two. So the largest and the medium size. And then the two small flowers are going to be made up of one of these. And you want to go find the largest ones. Okay, so these are a little bit smaller, the ones that I have on top. These are going to make one flower, and then these are going to make another flower. Okay, we want to keep them grouped just like this. Uh, as far as the inking on this, I did ink the very edges of this, and I took the time to actually ink the underside as well because it is going to be slightly visible. Okay, um, and that's up to you. I've got an entire uh, blog post on inking on the, on the website if you want to take a look at that. I can talk about it briefly here. Essentially what I did was I've got my felt applicators. Those are made by Ranger. Uh, these are Memento inks by Dewdrop. And what I did was I literally just dabbed uh, the applicator and then just went around and inked the very edges of all of these petals. Okay, as I mentioned, if you go to our website under the blog, you'll find uh, an entire blog post with a bunch of different videos uh, with timestamps that discuss the inking process. Okay, so I'm not really gonna, not really gonna go over that with this because this technique is, is the, it's the same technique I use for inking everything. Um, that also applies to the leaves. I've done, I've made a bunch of these leaves already since it's pretty redundant and repetitive. Okay, also ink to the edges of this. I also ink the inside. Optional, but I just, I was in the zone and I felt like, why not? Okay, we're gonna put a couple of the leaves together here. Uh, also wanna discuss that we have, uh, well, we have the calyx. Okay, and these two are the same size. So one's gonna go with the large plant or large flower. The other one's gonna go with the larger flower. We have two smaller ones. One is slightly bigger than the other. The one that's slightly bigger is gonna go with the set that is slightly bigger. And then the smallest one goes with the smallest, uh, with the smallest flower there. Okay, and then we have a series of stamen. Okay, and these guys here, these little guys here uh, are gonna go with the small flowers. And what I did with this, this is, I forget what color this is. This is AC cardstock butter. And I took a, actually, I'll tell you exactly which color I used. I used pear tart to ink the very bottom of it, just to kind of give it a two-toned effect. So these guys here are gonna go with these flowers here. And then we have these little starburst sort of shaped looking guys. And then we have these as well. And each of the large flowers is gonna use um, two of these and one of these. These are actually identical in size, so it doesn't matter which one you put where. You want to put one on one and one on the other. Okay, and then we have these little starburst guys, and I'm pretty sure that these are actually the same size too, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is just pick one. Let me find a match here, make sure I've got the same thing going on here. Where are we? There we are right there, yep. Okay, so we'll take one of these, put it there, put one of these here, take one of these there, and put it there. So we've got everything uh, laid out as far as the flowers go. We'll just put those off to the side. And now let's talk about the actual leaves. As I mentioned, I did go ahead and ink both sides, okay? And for these, what we started to do was add this little uh, additional piece to help thicken up the stem uh, and make the actual leaf a little more rigid. Those are gonna go on the underside. So here's my texture side. I'm gonna flip these over, okay? And we're gonna glue. There's three different sizes of these, and there's also three different sizes of leaves. As you can tell, there's a large one, medium, and a small. And there are also these guys. There's a large one, a medium one, and a small one. If you put them all together, you can tell. It's not so much the width, it's more the length. I mean, you just kind of line them up so you can see. There's your large, medium, small, and you want to glue those to their respective leaves. 
Okay, so they're going to go on the back, and I'll show you how I did that. I'll just take and throw a little bit of glue along this entire piece here. Make sure that you do get glue all the way to the top and bottom. And I'm holding it by the point and just lining it up with the very bottom and then just pressing it down. And I'll just let that set. Same here. I would, what I would do is I would just kind of make an assembly line. Uh, start with your inking. If you decide you want to do the inking, get the inking done and then flip them over. Apply these additional little pieces. And for these guys, we're actually going to draw a little vein on the other side. Now, my glue bottle is starting to get caked up again. One of these days, I'm going to become a scientist and create the best glue ever. Yeah, right. Maybe in my next life. Okay, so that's that. And then, as you can see on these, I have a nice little vein, just, just one straight line going down the center. Okay, so I've got my ruler out, and what I did was, kind of starting, um, naturally, I, I wanna kinda draw this way from left to right. So I'm gonna start with the stem on the left-hand side. I'll take the ruler and pop it right onto the leaf, slightly below center, just slightly. Because this, uh, this is just a Sharpie, and it's a little bit thick. Um, if you want to try a thin marker, that's fine. I kind of like the thickness of that. And literally just pop it on there and just run it right through. Okay. And if it's a little darker down there, it's okay, because we're going to actually cover that up with floral tape. Okay. So, again, if you're doing a little assembly line, I would just get all of my leaves inked and ready to go, and then do this all at once. And that's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. But I mean, this is pretty darn close. Okay. And there we go. So you're going to repeat that process on all of these leaves. Okay. And these should be set. And then what we're going to do, as you can see, these are kind of, they're not flat anymore. They're kind of curled. I'm going to take and hold. This is the this is the top, this is the bottom. Hold it like this. Take your dowel and at, right at the base of the leaf, just kind of put it between your finger and the dowel. Lift it up about 45 degree, or 90 degrees and then just run the dowel through to give it a nice curve. Okay, that one's done. Do the same thing here, just like that. And there we go. Okay, we can always give it more of a curve if we want like that, but we can always do that as we're kind of working on the, the actual flower itself. Okay, so uh, at this point, we're ready to start putting our flower together, yay. And we haven't, I don't think we've ever done this before, but um, I'll show you on the prototype here. We're actually, well, we've done this before. We're gonna join two stems together right at the base, uh, but instead of green floral tape, actually using a brown this time, just to stay true to the actual flower itself. So we're gonna need a total of four of these. Okay, I've already got one wrapped. And I like to pre-wrap my stem. This is 18 gauge wire. This has actually like a, a paper, uh, paper coated or paper wrapped. If you don't have this exact floral stem. If you just have wire, you should be able to just take and wrap it a few times with some floral tape just to thicken it up. It would help tremendously. But again, it's not required. It's just I think that these supplies do make it a lot easier. The stem is nice and thick. Okay, and now remember when you're working with your floral tape, you need to stretch it. Stretch it out because there's a little bit of wax that's in there. And as you stretch it out, it kind of reveals more of that wax so that this stays, uh, stays kind of tacky and sticky. Okay, so I've got that one wrapped. I'm gonna do two more 
and then we start putting our flour together. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a pile of one of the large flowers and one of the small flowers. We're gonna start off with the small flower here and we're gonna get the stamen in place first. So what I like to do is just grab my glue and I'm gonna throw a little bit of glue right on the tip, a little hot glue right there, okay? And I'm actually gonna put the texture side facing in because when I when you spread the stamen out, I want more of the texture visible. So pop that onto the hot glue and let that kind of set. And then what we're gonna do is gonna put a thin line of glue right along the very bottom here, right underneath the little stamen. Okay, and then we're gonna take this and just wrap it around itself. Try to get it as tight as you can. And just keep wrapping it and try to keep it nice and level with itself there at the bottom so that that straight edge sits right on top of itself throughout, all the way down. Okay, when you get to the end, just hold it. While you're holding it, you can take and start kind of spreading these out, give them a little bit of space. And one thing that I did actually, because of the brown stem, totally optional, you don't have to do it, I just thought it would be a nice touch. As I took a little brush with a little bit of yellow, just some acrylic paint. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of yellow paint and just kind of dab it inside to hide some of that brown in there. And it's okay if you kind of get a little bit on the stamen, not a big deal. Okay, that just kind of covers it up a little bit. All right, so that's in place. Now, what we're gonna do is start working the flowers here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a medium-sized dowel and we're gonna start with the smaller petal. You're gonna take and pinch or just place the, uh, one of the petals between your finger and the dowel, bring it up just a little bit past 90 degrees and run that dowel through. You want it to be really in. Okay, do the same thing there and just go all the way around. I'm gonna kind of tuck them in a little bit. And then if you want, what you can do is take and kind of pinch one of the tips and kind of curl it in a little bit, okay? And that just kind of makes it, um, just gives it a little bit of variation, a little bit of randomness, okay? There you go, so we've got the first petal there. I'm gonna take and just kind of pre-drill the hole there. There's a little cutout already to help you feed it onto the stem. All right, so let's feed the smaller petal in first, bring it all the way up, almost all the way up. And then just before we get to the top there, just throw a little bit of glue right on the base of that little stamen piece. Don't overdo it on the glue here, nice and gentle. And clean off that little nozzle there so you don't get any of those little wispies. And just feed that up as far as it'll go and just hold that for a second. Okay, I really want them to, almost like it's just opening up. It's just a tiny little bud. Okay, let's grab the larger of the two petals. And we're gonna do the same thing. Grab it at the base, pinch it between your finger and the dowel, bring it towards you just a little bit past 90 degrees, run that dowel through. Give it a little bit of a curl, like that. And we do wanna bring this in pretty much as far as it'll go. We want it to be kind of, you know, like I said, just like a little bud. And then if you want, you can take and just kind of curl the very tips in a little bit, just to give it a little bit of additional interest. Okay, let me go ahead and pre-drill. And let's pop that through the stem, bring it up. And just before we get there, We'll get our hot glue and throw a little bit of glue right at the base. The stem is kind of obnoxious right now. It's okay though. Clean off that tip, bring it up. You wanna offset the petals so they're not right on top of each other. You wanna rotate it a little bit just to fill it in. And there you go, beautiful. Okay, that looks great. Now, for the calyx on this, what we're actually gonna do, I'm gonna take and I've got the 
this is the texture side, this is the smooth side. I'm gonna actually train the texture side up. So we're gonna put it on like this, so it's kind of hugging the, uh, the actual flower itself. I'm actually just gonna curl it. So I'm putting the tip of each of the little leaves of the calyx between my finger and the dowel, and I'm just curling it back towards me, just like that. Okay, let me do this one, one more time. It's not quite as curled. Let's go ahead and just pop a hole in between that little X or the plus sign, whatever you want to call it. Make that hole a little more prominent. Pop it through. We'll bring it up. Leave yourself a little bit of room for the hot glue. And just throw a little bit of glue right at the base. Yeah, and I saw today I posted that a new bundle was coming out. Everyone's excited for spring, as am I. You can, I don't know if you can hear the winds howling out there. Boy, it's going to be 30 degrees next week, and that is, <laughs> that is exciting. Let me tell you. I can't, don't remember the last time I was excited for 30-degree weather. But, okay, so there's the small version of the flower. The calyx is in place. Now, what we're going to do with the small flower, the small flower actually has uh, more leaves on it. Okay, and I kind of jotted down some notes to help you along. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off. And again, we've got three different sizes of petals. We've got a small, a medium, and a large. We're going to start with the small and take a look and see if you like the curve on that. I think that looks fine. I can maybe give it a little bit more since it's right at the top. I can actually curl it around my dowel, make it kind of droopy like that. Okay, so I'm using this little dowel here. I'm going to find uh, about three quarters of an inch, maybe just slightly less. Okay, so we want the actual leaf to start at about the three quarter inch mark, which gives us a little bit of room down here below that three quarter inch mark. Uh, to place our stem. Let me make sure I've got that right. Okay, so right about there is where we want it to start, which means that I'm going to put my hot glue just slightly below that, just a little bit, just to hold it in place before I start wrapping it. And we'll pop that right into place. Okay, so we've got the, we've got the little bit of veining that we did on top and then we've got that additional piece on the bottom just makes it look a lot more lifelike okay and as we go down the flower here we do need to wrap each one it'd be nice if we could just hot glue them all and just wrap once but unfortunately that just create more work it does make it a little harder okay so starting right at where the leaf begins we're going to start wrapping the stem of the leaf onto the actual stem and just go down a little extra. Okay, and there's your first little your first little leaf. Okay, I'm gonna grab another small one, and I think I'm gonna curl that a little bit more. And we're gonna go about a half an inch down. So a half an inch down below where the leaf starts is where we want the next leaf to start. We're gonna offset it and put it on the opposite side. So it's going to start right about here at this point, which means that we can put our glue just below that point, ever so slightly. Okay. So we're at about half an inch here below the previous one. And just pop that right into place. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Just like that. And grab our floral tape. Make sure you stretch it. Get that, get that sticky out of there. And just wrap it. Okay, we're going to go one more small. And the idea here is to stagger them so it doesn't seem so mechanical. We want it to be natural. So we did about a half inch, three quarter inches here, uh, half inch here. So with this one, we're going to go maybe a half inch, maybe a little bit more. Let's go almost three quarters. Okay, so right about here, we want the next one to start. 
and I'm gonna offset it, I'm gonna put it on this side so that we have, if you look at it from the bottom here, we've got one here, one here, so I wanna kinda of put one on this side now, okay? And like I said, about three quarters, just slightly less maybe. So we want this next one to start about here, which means that I'm gonna put my glue just below where my finger is. Just a little bit of glue, just to make sure it stays. This one's not curled very well, but that's okay. That one's kind of standing up a little bit more, and that's fine. Make it random. You don't want everything looking exactly the same. All right, let's get our floral tape. And begin wrapping that right at the base where the leaf begins and work your way down to the leaf's little stem. Go down an extra half inch or so maybe. And voila. Okay, so we've got three small ones in place now. Now we're gonna move on to the medium one. This is the medium one, this is the large. So let's grab a medium one. I'm gonna train this a little bit more. Maybe even take it and curl the tip so it's really droopy. And let's go down about three quarters of an inch. You can do an inch if you want. I'm gonna go about three quarters and I'm gonna bring it over to this side here. So it's gonna start, the leaf is actually gonna start here. The stem's gonna go just below that slightly. So we're gonna put some glue right about here. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> Take our leaf, pop it right on there. Just like that, make sure it's nice and straight. There we go. Grab your floral tape. The hot glue sure does make it easier. Starting right at the base, go ahead and start wrapping. Make sure you stretch that tape out. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're going to do another medium. And this time I'm going to go a full three quarters of an inch, maybe slightly more. So the next one's going to start right about here, right about there, which means that I need to put my glue just below that for the stem. Right about there. Don't have to be exactly precise with these measurements. You know, if you're off by a half an inch or if you want to add an inch or subtract an inch here and there, you get the idea here. You want it just to be somewhat, somewhat full. But of course, you, you do want to give it a little bit of room to breathe, each, either, each of these little leaves. Okay, and let's go ahead and wrap this one. Bring that down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we've got three small. We've got two medium. We're gonna do one more medium. Here it is. Okay. And we'll bring this one right about, right about here. And that's about, it's, it's gonna be about a half an inch. I'm gonna do about a half an inch there. Okay. And put my glue right about there. Pop that on there. There we go. Just like that. I think I hear, I hear a bug buzzing. I think he smells the flowers. He's like, wow, there's flowers. That can't be right. Well, sir, I hate to hate to rain on your parade, but these are, they look real. I guess that's a compliment from the bug. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna move on to the large. And with the large one, we can bring that down. I can go about maybe three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna put that one here on this side. Measure out about three quarters of an inch right about there. So we're gonna put the glue down there. Um, on the small flower, top to bottom, once we get everything glued in, should be about seven and a half inches total uh, from the top of the flower to the base of the flower. And don't worry about cutting anything just yet, but I am gonna measure this real quick, just make sure that we are staying on track here. And yep, we're about, just about there. Uh, we're at about seven inches right now, so that's perfect. 
If it's you know a half inch longer, not a big deal. Okay, so go ahead and wrap. Oh, what's going on there? Let me tear this off actually. And with uh, with the last one here, the last large one, I'm not gonna really bring it down too much. I'm just gonna go on the opposite side here, just slightly below it, and just add that one there. Right about there. I'm gonna go down a little bit more. I'd say about a quarter inch, maybe a half an inch. I'm gonna offset this a little bit so that they're not all coming out of the same side. That's about right. Again, if you're off or if you change it up ever so slightly, it's not gonna it's not gonna make a huge difference. There we go. Okay, and let's get that wrapped up. Stretch her out. All right. Well, I didn't wrap that properly. There we go. And just work your way down a little bit. This one I would go down a little bit further. Okay, so there is our small flower. That looks good. I can actually take and maybe curl this one a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so there's your, there's a small one. And let's get another measurement here. Make sure that we're at about seven, seven and a half inches from top to bottom. Perfect. Okay, I'm not gonna cut anything yet. We'll put that off to the side while we assemble the large flower now. This one's gonna be a little bit different because we do have some more uh, stamen pieces. The rest of it is pretty much the same. So with this guy here, this is the first stamen piece that we're gonna put on the stem. So go ahead and put a little drop of glue right at the tip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, again, I'm gonna put this face down and attach the very end of this right to the top of our stem. Just hold that in place for a moment. Okay, like that. You can take some glue and just run a little bit of glue along the very bottom. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of glue along the very base of this stamen section, nice and thin. You don't need to overdo it here. And if you did happen to kind of overdo it, just hit it with your finger, thin it out so it doesn't come shooting out. And what we're gonna do, just like we did with the first one, uh, we're gonna take and just wrap this around itself, trying to make sure that we keep it aligned with itself that little, that little straight edge at the bottom. Just keep that nice and aligned on itself. And keep on wrapping nice and tight until you get to the end and hold it. If you want, just to make quicker work of this, put a little dot of hot glue right at the very end. And then go ahead and wrap it completely onto itself and hold. And while you're holding, you can take and start kind of start to pull these out, separate them, create a little bit of separation there. Okay. And again, while I have it there, just that little brown in there, I didn't want to see that. So you can take a little bit of yellow paint and just kind of hit that in the center with some yellow paint to hide some of that brown if it's showing up for you. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do, we've got two of these crazy looking things. Find the smaller one and let's pre-drill it. Just pop that little, little X in there. Okay, let's feed it through. It's starting to unravel it at the bottom. Feed it all the way up. And let's throw a little bit of hot glue right at the base of the first layer there. Okay, just spread that out, clean off the nozzle, avoid those little wispies, and bring it all the way up as far as it'll go. And once you've got it there, you can take it and just kind of do that. Just run it through your hand, and that will bring the rest of the stamen up. I'm going to kind of squish them together a little bit like that. Perfect. Let's grab the next little stamen piece. 
Let's get it pre-drilled. Don't have to do that. And just run it through the stem, bring it up almost to the top. A little bit of hot glue, just twirl it around. Try to get it on all the sides if you can. Okay, and bring it all the way up as far as it'll go. And just hold it for a second. That looks great. You can actually take that and kind of run that through your fingers a little bit, just like that. Okay, so now onto the actual flower itself. We're gonna start with the smaller petal, just like we did before, and then do the larger one. I'm gonna take and pop that between my finger and the dowel, bring it up just past 90 degrees, and run it through. Same thing here. You could do it a couple times if you'd like. And then I'm actually gonna take, and I'm gonna make this a little bit tighter too, by just taking and wrapping it around the dowel a little bit. I want it to really kind of be curling in, just like that. Kind of squish it together a bit. Okay, then I'm gonna take a smaller dowel, grab a corner of the one of the petals here. You can curl it out, you can curl it in. Just kind of make it random. Okay, give it one more squeeze in like that. And hit it with the pre-drill. And let's run that through the stem. There we go. Just before we get to the top there, let's get some hot glue. Just twirl it around. There we go. And pop that up. There we go, as far as it'll go, and just hold it. Give it a little squeeze. All right, we'll put that down, grab our last petal. Same thing, you can actually, if you want, bend it like that first, and then run the dowel through, like that. So as long as you're in the ballpark with the overall shape, it'll be fine, and it'll look great. I'm doing it a few times here. Get a nice curl on that. Okay. And just like I did before, grab a smaller dowel, take and kind of pinch one of the corners and just curl it in, just like that. I'm gonna do that one out. I can actually take this one and curl it in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take that one like that. Just be, have fun with it. Totally random. Scrunch it together a bit, just like that. Hit it with the pre-drill and pop it onto your stem. Bring it all the way up. Not quite all the way, but you know what I mean. Okay, and let's get our hot glue on the base of the previous section of petals. That's about right. Okay, and we're gonna offset this so that they're not right on top of each other. So that would be on top of each other. We're gonna rotate it a little bit so that each of the little sections has its little time in the sun here. And that looks great. All right, so now moving on to our calyx here. Now the calyx on the other one was going up. This one's gonna go down. I want my texture side showing. So I'm gonna glue it like this, up, up like that. Texture side's on the bottom. And I'm just gonna take and curl these down so that they're kind of drooping. Okay. There we go. And let's pre-drill that one. Just pop that skewer right through there. Start that little hole, pop it through. Okay, just before we get there, go ahead and throw a little glue on there. Clean off that tip and pop it all the way up as far as it'll go. There we go. Okay, there we go. That looks great. Okay, so now we've got a few little 
leaves to put on. Then we're going to join these two together. Okay. And with the, with the large one, we're going to start with one small. Okay. I'm going to give that a little bit of a little more curl that top one. I like that to not really obstruct the flower too much. Uh, and we're going to go about, say about an inch. Okay. So right about there. So we want the leaf to start right about here. So we're going to put some glue just under that slightly. If you're at like three quarters of an inch, that's fine too. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Pop that on. There we go. And we'll grab our floral tape, get that one tied up so it don't go nowhere. I'm not really chatty during this process because I'm there's a lot going on here. I'm not doing anything that's overly repetitive. So this is the time where I just kind of zip it and focus on focus on the work. Okay, so the small one is in place. Now we're gonna grab a medium one. It's this guy here. And this medium one's gonna go down about three quarters of an inch. And we're gonna offset it onto the other side so it's not sitting right underneath this one. So we'll put it about here. And I'm going to put my glue just about here below that. Right about there. That's good. There's our medium one. Pop that right on. And don't worry if you're getting hot glue everywhere. We're going to wrap that up with some floral tape anyway. And you can see how that looks. All right, let's stretch this out. Let me start with a nice fresh one here. Going right up to the base here, right where, just right underneath where the actual leaf really starts to emerge. And let's wrap that, bring that down a bit, maybe a half an inch to an inch below where the stem ends. There's that. Okay. And now we're going to go with a large piece. Now this one, Actually, I, I think I already went over this, gave this a bit of an S shape. So I, I trained it this way here and then I trained it the other way down here to create like this little S shape. You don't have to do it that way, but it is kind of cool. And we're going to go about, oh, uh, let's say I'm going to go about a half an inch down. So I'm going to put it over on this side again, looking at it from the bottom. You can see we've got one here, one here. I'm going to put one on this side. So on this side of the stem here, just to spread it out to kind of create a little balance. Okay. And I said about a half an inch roughly, I'm really eyeballing it. It's I, I'm not, not sitting here with, you know, a laser, you know, a laser measurement tool or anything crazy like that. It's just eyeballing it. You want to be in the ballpark and then it'll, it'll look great. I mean, after all, who are we to try to recreate nature? I'm sure there's a, a method to the madness, but I don't know that we'll ever figure it out. I know that they know about fractals in nature, but I think uh, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's some sort of pattern to it. But as far as I know, uh, if it looks good, I'm happy with it. And I think that looks good. Okay. So the actual big flower now, okay, now I'm going to take this now. I've got one last large, uh, large leaf. I'm going to go down about an inch right about there. So my hot glue is going to go right about there. Just kind of keeping my finger in the spot where I think I'm going to need it. Uh, actually, you know what? Oh yeah, that's fine. We should have one leaf left over that we're going to use to place on the stem after we join the two sections together. Okay. So that's ideally how it will look or not how it will look, but how it will end up once we get both of these stems connected, which is what we're doing next. We got one more leaf that I want to put on there. Okay, so this one, that one's done. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do, the, uh, <clears throat> let me show you, this is the one that I already did off camera. Okay, and you can see here from the top of the small flower to the bottom, it's about, it's about 10 and a half inches. Now with this one, we're gonna make two, two of these. One, this is the first one. We're making the second one here. We want the stem on one of them to be about an inch taller. Because uh, when we put it into our, our vase or our container, we want one of them to be a little bit taller so that they don't, they don't kind of compete for attention, okay? So with that said, uh, again, I'm gonna measure my first one. You're gonna make one at, okay, this one's uh, about 10 and a half. So this one here, I'm gonna cut this at about 11 and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna measure this to about 11 and a half. So one at 10 and a half, one at 11 and a half. And just kind of eyeballing it. Okay, so here's my 11 and a half mark. Trim that, there we go. Move that out of the way. And on my other one here, the larger flower, I'm gonna try to straighten this out a little bit. Let me move this out. Okay. My larger flower is at, from the top of the flower to the middle or to the bottom of the stem, it's at about nine and a half inches, which means that this one, we're gonna cut this one to about 10 and a half. Okay, so let's measure out about 10 and a half inches here. And that's gonna take us to about right here. And I'll trim that right about there. Oops, there we go. Okay. And let's just pretend, actually here, hold on a second. The idea is to join these together and then have them kind of splitting apart in the center. So pretend like they're starting to grow straight up and then as they're growing straight up, they're, are, they're kind of curving off to the side a little bit. One's going left, one's going right, kind of like that, okay? And we'll talk more about the arrangement once we get to that point, we're going to take these and line them up at the bottom and say about four inches up is where we're going to start the little curve. So on this one, it's four inches. On the other one, it's going to be about three inches. <clears throat> okay. Cause this one's going to be about an inch taller overall. Okay. What we can do, let me just make sure I'm at the four inch mark here. That's good. Okay, we can start taping these two together. And I'm gonna start about here. If you wanna use a little bit of hot glue to hold those two together initially, that's fine. I don't think I'm gonna to need to. I'm gonna start taping them together. And we can always, if, if we miss the mark by a little bit, we can always go back and, and add a little bit of tape to kind of fine tune things. I'm just gonna get it started. And then once it's actually holding together, I'll give it, uh, I'll just remeasure it and make sure that it looks good. Okay. And we are about three inches there. What do I say here? Yeah, so we need to go, we need to go up a little bit more. And that just means that we need to kind of bend this out Bend this one out a little bit. This one's way too bent. Just want it kind of splitting off into a V. And I'm gonna take and wrap just about another inch up. Okay. Roughly. There we go. That's fine. Okay, there we go. And now finally, I've got one more little leaf here and I'm gonna add it just down here, right about there. Just so that it's not so bare down here. Most of this is going to be sticking into the floral foam as well as being hidden by the vase. We do need, 
you know, we need a little bit of that stem to be bare so we can get it into the tape. And again, if you, if you're off a little bit and it comes time to actually put it into the floral foam, you can always trim things. You can always cut off a little bit more. And remember, you don't have to stick this all the way down. You can just kind of go halfway in. Um, don't, don't worry too much about all of the little measurements here. Just make it look very similar to this using the, you know, the guidance and, and the measurements that I gave you just now. Okay, but that looks great. And there we go. So you're gonna, you're gonna do this one more time with the other one, but remember, um, this one's gonna be about an inch shorter. So you can see they're almost identical, except for the fact that this one's just slightly taller by about an inch. Okay, so I'm popping that in there so that the smaller flower is more towards the center with the larger one kind of curling out a little bit more. Okay, and we'll take this one here and I want the larger flower kind of going to the left with the smaller flower staying towards the center. I'm gonna make that like that. And I might need to pre-drill another hole here. Got to give them a little bit of space in there. There we go. We'll pop that in. Again, the larger flower going off to the left. And again, I want that to be a little bit taller. Okay, so I'm gonna actually be looking at it from this direction. And I'm gonna kind of twist these flowers a little bit so they're looking at me. I wanna be able to see all of the fine little details on the flower there. But as I mentioned uh, before, anytime you're working with 3D flowers and you're working on your final arrangement, uh, make it, you know, pop it in there, see what it looks like. If you're not happy with it, or if you're not sure if you're happy with it or not, um, leave it alone, walk away a little bit for a little bit and come back and look at it with a fresh set of eyes and decide if you, well, I wanna make it a little bit lower or I need to straighten this or move this a little bit. You wanna kind of fill this out as much as possible. Okay, but that is kind of what I've got so far. They, right now, first glance, looking at my little monitor here, I think maybe these are sticking out a little bit too much. But again, I'm gonna put this away for a little bit and just leave it sit and come back to it and take another look at it in a little bit. Okay, so the last little thing here is, uh, obviously you've got a big gaping hole in there. Uh, you just wanna fill that in with a little bit of green moss. And as I mentioned, um, take a look at the final photo. If you want to make yours exactly like mine, just look at the photo. You can see where the stems will be placed, how everything is shaped and bent and curved. Um, you can recreate it that way or just, you know, take a look at it. And I think, you know, you guys have good eyes for this stuff. You can, you can really get a good feel for whether or not everything looks right. Right now, I'm actually very happy with how that turned out. It's looking really sharp so far. What I might do is take this stem and just move it over a little more centered. But aside from that, I think it's good. So that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the process. You guys are now officially um, paper flower makers and I, I knew you could do it and I'm sure you did it well. Um, and if by chance you're not happy with it, well, you know what, you've got the experience under your belt and the next time around, it's gonna look even better. So don't, uh, you know, just be proud of yourself. Uh, this is quite, it's actually, a, it's a work of art as far as I'm concerned. I think it's wonderful and beautiful. This one is definitely gonna have a place in my home somewhere. Uh, but either way, hope you enjoyed the process. If you did, please visit us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it turns out that, um, almost 40% of the people that watch our videos regularly are not subscribers. So please take a moment and do that. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group 
or you can type in this little URL here at the bottom and uh, join myself and over, I believe it's 35,000 now, uh, dreamers that inspire us daily. So um, happy, uh, <laughs> happy flower making. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.